everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about the invoicing policy in Odoo 80. The invoicing policy in Odoo 80 is the settings that determines how the invoices are created and managed. So there are two types of invoicing policies, that is invoice what is ordered and invoice what is delivered. So this help you to invoice uh, from the sales order depending on the quantity and the invoicing policy. So the invoices are uh, created um, when the order is confirmed. When we just use the invoicing policies, uh, invoice what is ordered. And if we are just using invoice what is delivered, then the invoices are created when corresponding products or services are delivered. And this is commonly used for businesses that deliver goods or provide services before invoicing. So here you can see that in the settings we have currently set invoice what is ordered as default. Now you can just manage the invoicing policy under the products also. So you can move on to the products and here you would be able to find different products such as um, blueberry muffin and here you can see that it has got the invoicing policy as ordered quantity. So we can also create the invoice before delivering the item. And here I'll be choosing the other product, which is blue uh, jeans. It also has got the ordered quantity. So let's uh, find any other product. It has got uh, the delivered quantity. So I'm going to choose cable management box. It has got delivered quantity. Okay, fine. Now let's move on to the orders and choose quotation to create a new quotation over here. And let's see how does this invoicing policy works when we set different policies for the product. My customer is Deco Addict and I'll be choosing the product Blueberry Muffin. So in case of Blueberry Muffin, we know that it has got the invoicing policy as ordered quantity. Now let me confirm this. So as we just confirm the order, you can see that we can create the invoice over here. So I'll be using the regular invoice. Now let me try to create the invoice. So even if we don't deliver the item to the customer, we can just create the invoice when we use invoicing policy as ordered quantity. But um, when you just try to create another invoice with the product that are having the uh, invoicing policy as a delivered quantity, we cannot create a yeah, invoice over here without delivering the item to the customer. Now let me confirm the order. As I just confirmed the order, it's clear that we can create the invoice because the button is visible. So I would like to create the invoice over here. So as you just try to create the invoice here, you can see that you will get an invalidation operation, an invalid operation that tells cannot create an invoice because no items are available to invoice. This is because we have set the invoicing policy as delivered quantity. So if we set the uh, invoicing policy as delivered quantity first, we just need to deliver the item to the customer. Then only we can create the uh, invo invoices for this order. So as we have just delivered the item to the customer, now we can just create the invoice. So you can see it's easy to create the invoice after the delivery of the item to the customer. Now let's check the priority of the invoicing policies. So for that, we can create a new quotation by choosing the customers and you can choose the product that are having different invoicing policy. So I'll be choosing the same product, which is a uh, blueberry muffin as well as uh, the other product as cable management box. So here we know that the blueberry has got the invoicing policy as ordered quantity and cable management has got the invoicing policy as delivered quantity. Now. Let's confirm the order and here you can see that uh, we can just create the invoice. So when we just try to create the invoice, we can just create a regular invoice for blueberry muffin as it has got the invoicing policy as ordered quantity. But we cannot create a invo invoice for the product uh, cable management box at, as it has got the invoicing policy as delivered quantity. So you can just confirm the invoice of uh, the product blueberry muffin. And once you just complete the delivery of the item, then only you can just manage with the invoice for the product. So here from this, we can conclude that the, um, yeah, it has uh, got the priority for ordered uh, quantity as the invoicing policy. 
Now let's make the delivery of the item. So you can just click on validate button by confirming the SMS. You can actually um, do the, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, delivering of the item. Afterwards, you can just create the invoice for the product table management box. So let me create a regular invoice over here. And uh, you can see that currently we are just creating the invoice for cable management box. And you can see that uh, we have two invoices right now here as it has got a different invoicing policy. And we can see that the priority for the invoicing policy is for ordered quantity. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.